but the bike itself, um, if I give you a bit of basic information about the bike first of all, the, uh, the bike itself will do 140 miles um, on, a, on a charge if you're using it urban use. If we're actually running it in sports mode and we're breaking it around, you're looking at around about 100 miles to a charge. The bike will actually do um, charge in about an hour on a DC charge, which is the charge you use when you're um, at service stations and stuff. And if we, the charging points are all under here. So lift that up. You've got the AC, that's the one you use when you're at home, basically connects to a three pin plug. And under here, that's your DC, which you would use at a service station and stuff like this. Yeah. All your DC charging units are actually, or cables are kept under the seat, so that wherever you are, you can charge the bike. If we've got the bike and we're actually uh, parked up charging it, it will tell us via an app, via an app to our phone whether how much charge the bike's got, how much longer it's going to be before it's fully charged. If there's a break in the charge, i.e. your fuse goes at home, it will notify you that it's been stopped charging. If somebody tampers with it, it will tell you. And if somebody steals it, we've got a worldwide tracking device on the bike. So all are connected to the ECU so they can't remove it. Yeah. If we parked it up at the NEC here and we lost it, because they the amount of bikes it's a job to find sometimes and I've done it myself you can press the app and it will guide you back to the bike so it will actually tell you where it is to turn the bike on all we need to do is press that button there yeah, and as long as I've got the key fob in my pocket it will actually start the bike up what it's doing now is running through a systems check what it's giving me now is telling me I've got 87% charge I'm ready to start and I'm in wet weather mode we run it in wet weather mode on here because of the fact that in sports mode it's too powerful. The rolling mode can't cope. Okay, what I'd like you to do now, press the button there and that will, until we get a zero on the dash. The bike's now ready to go. What I'd like you to do is pull back nice and gently. Don't take the bike above 60 miles an hour due to the rolling road, but get a feel for the throttle.